Hello everyone, welcome to Roman Just Codes. I'm Roman, and in this video I'll be showing you the quickest way to add a Google Maps to your Angular PWAs. And as a bonus, I'll add a custom icon as well. Let's get started. In an Angular project, find the index.html file and drop the reference to the JavaScript Google Maps API library. This URL must include your Google Maps API key in it, otherwise it won't work. Next, I already created a sample page called Map Page Component, and inside I'll create a basic structure. A main div called App Page, and inside I'll create the div that will hold the Google Maps reference. There are multiple ways of loading the Google Maps into DOM, via a view child reference using the hash reference, or by ID. I'll use the div ID and I'll call it Map Canvas. Now, let's go to the TypeScript for this component. I'll start by creating a reference of my map from the Google Maps Map API. Notice, of course, I don't have access to the Google Maps library we just imported. So there's a couple of things you gotta do in the Angular world in order to make this work. First, in the component you'll be using those references, create an empty import using the syntax import empty object from Google Maps. Next, import the types Google Maps and make sure to use the dash dash save to save that locally. Notice the squiggly is gone. Let's try to see if I can get the references now. Good. Now I can proceed. So I have my map reference. I need a reference to the center of the map based on my current geolocation picked up by the browser. Make sure to enable location tracking on your browser for this to work. Google Maps JavaScript API needs some options. The map type ID, which I'm setting it to roadmap. I don't want to use the scroll wheel. Disable the default UI since I'll add the controls on the map myself later and I want to have a custom and clean map look. Disable double click to zoom, and I'll start with a default zoom of 16. In my ng on init, I will listen to the browser's navigator geolocation get current position event, which notifies me as soon as it has captured my current position. That event then feeds a position object, out of which I'll extract the latitude and the longitude. And I'll bind the DOM element with an ID of map canvas to my Google Maps, passing the options and the center position. We're not done yet. Angular still doesn't recognize what that empty import means. It needs to know that there's a module called Google Maps declared within this project, coming from the types Google Maps module I installed earlier. To fix this error, at the root of the project, inside the SRC folder, create a new file called index.d.ts. Type declare module Google Maps. 
This is a custom typings file that tells the TypeScript compiler that there is indeed a module called Google Maps and when compiling the application to use it and knows about the custom typings for all of those Google Map references we typed and many more. Compile and notice how the error goes away. Check out exactly where this typings module gets generated. If you look at your browser, you still don't see anything. Why? Because the container doesn't have a specific size. What I want is the map to cover the whole page and behave in a very responsive fashion. So I'll go to the CSS and apply some styles to accomplish this. I'll make my map position absolute and make it stick to the size of the browser's viewport and also add width and height of 100%. There you go, very simple. Now, let's add a marker pin to this map. Again, I'll refer to the Google Map typings to invoke a reference of a Google Maps API marker object. I'll create a variable called marker start and assign it to a new Google Maps marker. And in creating it, I pass an object that will contain the position, the center position captured, and the reference to the newly created map, so the marker knows where to draw itself. Easy. By now you know how I love to do a bunch of customizations and don't like to settle for the out-of-the-box styles. I want to bring a custom marker pin and also animate it. So I'd like to pass it an animated SVG that I have saved in my assets images folder. I previously created this animated pin using this cool online tool called SVGator or SVGator. I created a three second animated SVG that I called truck pin SVG. Inside my marker, I'll refer to this image via the icon property of the marker, passing the URL in a few more properties, for example, the anchor position, which allows me to adjust exactly where the pin will be rendered. And a scaled size since I need to resize my pin based on how I want it to look. And that's it. I'm actually creating an Angular PWA for a fictional package delivery company called UPS, where users will follow the truck along a route on a map. I added a cool splash screen Please make sure to check out that tutorial as well. And also, I created custom icons for my PWA, also part of another tutorial, so make sure to view those. That's it, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial where I showed how simple it is to bring a Google Maps into your Angular PWA apps, use the core Google Maps JavaScript API, and as a bonus, how to add animated markers to your map using animated SVGs. In later videos, I'll expand on this project and add the Directions API, Places API, etc. So stay tuned. That's it for this video, so please stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Hit the subscribe button to stay updated and please like this video if you found it useful. Thank you so much for watching.